Hello everybody, welcome to the building information modeling project of Alvar Alto's Town Hall building. Before going to the building information model of this project, let's learn more about the Town Hall building which is located in Finland. This building embodies Alvar Alto's concern for building as intermediaries between human life and natural landscapes. Actually, it acts as a focal point within the town center complex, approached over rising levels by means of the forest path and a series of grass steps. The building employs formal discipline combined with textural richness. Overall, it looks as an ancient complex building in the middle of forest. This project has four steps. First, I have developed building information model using Revit architecture for town hall building. Then I've developed the parametric model using Revit interface, which has used families to insert the parametric model to the project. Then I've developed parametric design using Revit API, which gives the possibility to use the parameters in the project. And finally, I've developed the four dimensional model using Naviswork, which is a software developed by Autodesk. This is the beam model of the town hall building, which is designed in Revit architecture. These are some neighbor buildings of the town hall building, which is in the center of this design. It's the main chamber of the building. These are some adjacent blocks of the same building, which are developed by Mass. I spend most of my time to design the chamber. Uh, let me use the section box to show more details to you. Here you can see inside of the chamber the fan shade truss which is designed parametrically. Different families, I design most of these families by myself. They are not available in Revit, these kind of seats and other things. This is the main chamber. These are some areas which are which have been used as bank and also library. Some kind of stairs you can see here. And different area of the building. I have decided to model the fan shaped truss of the chamber which is shown here as a parametric model which is significant and also challenging. So let me show you the uh, the, the trusses in the in the building so we using the section box here you can see the trusses assume that I want to change the angle it's parametrically designed to 45 here you can see it's uh, it's changed to 45 uh, also I've de I've designed it, the angle of the roof parametrically to be compatible with the angle of the truss but in order to do that in the project, I have to use the API programming. But before going to that part, let me show you what's going on to in the family of this truss. Here you can see the truss again. Because the truss is a little complex, I had to spend lots of time on it. Finally, I found the solution. I used XYZ location and using two points and connecting those two points with adaptive line and making the form using that adaptive line I could make each of these members which are used to build this truss. Here you can see the parametric formulas of this fan shaped truss that has used XYZ location of each members and also the angle of the roof which is changeable here if I change it to 45 for an assumption there we go, the angle of the truss has been changed. As we know, in order to develop parametric model in the project, we have to use Revit API. So I use C Sharp to develop my model for the chamber again. I defined an angle for this roof, for the mass of this roof, and also for the trusses that are beside this roof and use the API to change all, all of them in the project together. So in order to see how it works, let me run the program for you. Here the town hall building angle and uh, I will insert the angle like 20. You see the angle has been changed to 20 and 
let me use the section box to check the trusses too so you can understand how does that work yep here you can see the trusses and this one works together so let's go and see the C sharp program my C sharp program has seven parts the first part is declaring the global variables I have one global variable which is the angle of the roof which is changed from degree to radian by this formula then in these lines of code I initialize the project here I get the objects I have four objects the mass two trusses and the roof I get the parameters of these objects then I define the value for these I set the value to the project and then I, I'll do the transaction for the project. This part is the end of my API programming for Revit and in the next part I will show you the result of four-dimensional modeling of the project. Mm -hmm.